Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Outer Worlds. Uh, I have taken a tiny break from this game, just so I could play The Death Stranding. Loved that game, finished it last night, so I'm back to this. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to get reacquainted with whatever it was I was doing. Uh, return to the information broker. Alright. Yeah, so I finished the... Uh, yeah, if I remember correctly, the last two things I did was... There's a lot of bodies here. Um, the last two things I did was stop those two factions, MSI and uh, uh, the Iconoclasts, that's the one, from um, broadcasting. And that's pretty much all I did uh, before I got Death Stranding. Alright. Cool, let's go and see the information broker then. Ah, my trusty revolver. Same to you too, pal. Do you hear that? It's the blessed sound of radio silence, which leads me to believe you have sweet, sweet news for me. MSI and the iconoclasts are no longer transmitting. Is the data ready? Yes, indeed. I am back in business. But before we get down to it, might I ask how you handled the problem, in the end? Come on, do you really want to get invested in the details? We finished the job! Hmm, is that so? Does it matter? I suppose not. Curiosity was always my besetting sin. And we both know I'll find out, eventually. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver, so I can input the needed adjustments. Phineas doesn't trust many people. How did he hook up with you? You make it sound so scandalous. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. Now you hold on. I do not physically go between anyone but that of my choose. Oh. Oh, apologies. You meant... Right. Yes. I brave the wilderness so you don't have to. Precisely. I really ought to give you a raise. Alright, fine. Tell me how to fix it. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. That's it? You're not pulling my leg? Someone has trust issues, though I can't hardly feign surprise. Yes, that is all. No, I am not mocking you. Much. Just step outside, flip the switch, depart forever. Understood? Good. Marvelous. We're in agreement. This is why I stopped helping out around here, you know. It's always throw this lever, shoot that marauder, save my life. Just one thing after another with you. I'm starting to see why you don't get much company out here. Right, well, I got it. So I'll be off. Terrific. I'll be here. Waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. Yeah, thanks for the concern. God, this place looks like shit. Right, now that I've said that, let's go! Just had to get that one last dig in before I left. For good. Presumably for good. Highly doubt it's going to be for good. Uh, right, what am I doing? Where am I going? Where's the way downstairs? Is there another set of stairs here? Nope, just the one. Alright, no idea. Ooh, how to get down there? Did that... Was I, like, blind? There was a point down there, wasn't there? Yeah, there is. Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, let's go through the main door, then. Yeah, the, the objective areas in this, like, the objective points are random, I feel. They're a bit weird. Yeah, so now that I've finished Death Stranding, I'm getting that up on my channel currently, as I'm streaming this, and uh, 
Yeah, just getting them up as fast as I can, and now I'm hoping to sort of blitz through this. Because I do want to get um, the new Star Wars game at some point. Okay, I need to get up there. Yeah, most of the stuff about this game has like literally left my mind now. <laughs> I have no idea what abilities I'm working with. I, uh, well, somewhat of an idea. I can't really remember that well. Like, my mind is still working in, like, Death Stranding, even though I've moved on. I'm just like, right, ladders, climbing anchors. Is there even a way up there? I wonder. Good question, actually. Um, if it's upstairs, why did I get up down here? Is there a way? There should be a way to get up upstairs from the from upstairs. The finest cigarettes in all Falcion, Wentzworth cigarettes. Uh, imagine that. This entire episode's just going to be me trying to get up to that ceiling to, like, the ceiling, fucking hell. Um, the roof to try and flip that switch. Just because I have no idea. <laughs> no idea where the exit is up there. Okay, so I go up here. Ah, there we go. Yeah, see, look. That really annoys me. No wonder I ran down there. The game can't decide where it wants me to go. Like, if it's not... Let's think, because, like... If... The switch I have to flip isn't accessible from downstairs, then... Why is it saying to use that door? If I get close to it. I found an error. First of many, probably. It is an open world RPG. Sorry about that, just messaging someone back. Uh, right, well, flip the switch then. Testing one, two, check, check. Sweet stars. But that is a beautiful sound. Can you hear me? We are a go for broadcast. Oh, and I also dispatched Phineas his data. Impatient prick. Worse, I'm now indebted to him for it. Now I'll kindly thank you to get out of my tower. Happily, I won't bother you again. Look, I am well aware that at times I may have the tiniest iota of a prickly exterior. But I must admit, I have grown rather fond of you. As Nioka can attest, I do not form attachments with many. Do take care. Why, he told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. What in the void blasted hell is that?
black holes. Did you see that? Whose ship was that? Looks like a UDL ship. Based on the gunnery attachments, I guess it's one of the board's blockade enforcers, but don't cite me on that. Oh well, a pity for the crew, but I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? Can you hear me? Did you see that? Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar, what are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI or did MSI not cease broadcasting? Yes, but... Hiram, Hiram, are you there? Will someone explain what's going on? Ah, the good captain. The truth brings us together once more. Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. Surely we can talk this over. Ah, I see you learned nothing while dealing with these buffoons. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do, so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my void damn channel! I'm more than finished with you lot. So, just reclaim the module. to uh, using the touchpad again. Okay, uh, so the module landed. That's not the module, is it? Oh, no, it is. That didn't land too far away, did it? Okay, fast travel to Cascadia, and I'll run over to the wreckage now. Yeah, one thing I will say though, my family are like awake and pretty loud. So uh, yeah, if you hear anything in the background, apologies, but there's not much I can do, I'm afraid. So yeah, gonna have to uh, <laughs> just ignore it. Okay, uh, I think I killed everyone here. So I should be able just to cross. Is there a bridge I have to cross or something? Anything like that? Sure there was in the map. If the map will load! Uh, yeah there is. Right. How do I get out of here? Ah, you gotta be shitting me. Uh, bloody seal that. Ooh, what's this? Wait, the only way over here is through that bloody bridge I can't get through. Okay, I can't even get on. Why am I doing that? I can just fast travel. Oh, you fool. I can just fast travel to the landing pad. Uh. No, wait, well, I can fast travel back, can't I? Nothing says I really have to take that bridge, so screw it.
All right. So yeah, that way. I uh, can't remember if I've killed everything here. I think it was just mainly canids here, wasn't it? Oh, uh, that's going to get old. Hello. All right, run. Not really looking for to kill them and waste the ammo. Just uh, need to get over to the wreckage. Ah, oh, these monsters are everywhere. Here we go. Right. She died just as that fight was over. Well, not died, but passed out. That's the other thing as well. If I we do go. play the supernova mode, I have serious doubts whether or not I even get to the end of it. Because, like, c companions can actually die in that, so... If it's anything like this mode, they've passed out at least, like... Well, they pass out every time I fight someone. Like, in the Oka, I've already passed out. And I, I imagine that just means they've passed out. Like, they pass out when that happens in this mode. But in Supernova, that I, I assume they, they just die when that happens. In which case, like you said, I'm going to lose my companions about five minutes after I collect each one. Like, what's an name? Pavati would have died on in Edgewater. You know, like two minutes after I left the, the city, town, village. Whatever. So yeah, I think it's going to be more akin to like, if I do that, it's going to be more akin to my Days Gone walkthrough, where I try and see how far I get, yeah? But chances are I'm not going to complete it. So yeah, in hindsight, it's probably a good idea that I chose normal, uh, normal difficulty. themselves right enjoy the smell yeah just to clarify you both know that you live on a ship right I'm not keen on ships bullshit okay thank you all for your contribution to my cause uh, right what brought down this ship I wonder okay I'll get the command key
Huh. Engines technically functional. Hull integrity, don't ask. Hello. My name's Jen. I'm the chief engineer on this gunship, and I'd like to let the record show that our captain is a total fucking hull head. I told him again and again that without fixing our regulators, spinning up the engines are going to blow through our coils and we'll go flying off in a completely random direction. Well, here we are. Thinking we'll hit soil in uh, about 30 seconds. This is your chief engineer signing off for what is probably the last time. It's a shame you can't see this metal finger I'm holding up, because I'm doing it as hard as I can. Alright. So there wasn't like a big mutiny or big disaster, it was just the captain didn't understand how his ship, to, how his ship works. That's fair. There's always one in every army. Hello! I'll take this. Was it what? Alright, oh, I'll take this then. Uh, I'll give it to Graham. Uh, yeah, I'll give it to Graham. Now it'll come back to bite me in the ass after what's his name? An MSI join the board, but screw it, I'm gonna fight those guys anyway, aren't I? So what does it really matter? Uh, oh! Uh, upgrade that. Great persuade. I do like the way my character looks though. What with the hat and the armor. Yeah. Stylish. For a change. Uh right, yeah, the iconoclasts it is. Uh let's go to Amber Heights. The gunship. Have you secured its targeting module? I uh, have, yes. At last. Now we must secure the Stellar Bay landing pad. We will fortify the city against the board's assault. I'll settle for shooting goons and grabbing loot. And you, Captain. Are you prepared? I don't suppose you could work with Sanjar instead of being against him? No. Our hearts have long since closed to one another. He is blinded by his love for bureaucracy. Alright, well, let's do it. Here's the targeting system. This is it. Let us save this planet once and for all. Meet our forces in the ruins south of the city. Come prepared. Sanjar is sure to go down swinging. I give you a targeting module. I never agreed to go fight. Hey, what? You, so oh. Shit. What's going on here? Nothing. They're now revering me. Okay. I wouldn't revere me, but I'm not them. Uh, it feels nice to be revered. Okay, so I need to go meet someone south of the city. Okay.
I wonder how bad this is going to be. Well, not bad, but you know, how intense. Because I haven't really been in a big fight in this game. Been in small, like plenty of small skirmishes, but nothing big. Like we're taking a city, presumably. An actual outpost. I'll be honest, like I said, I, did, I, did, I didn't assume that I'd be attacking a city. I thought these guys were fairly fucking peaceful, but apparently not. Kind of what I was expecting, really. Oddly enough, like it doesn't seem that all that active. It just seems like there's like two or three groups of small, like skirmishes happening, and I'm just wandering around, mopping up where there's left. We're bound to be arriving at this place soon, aren't we? This is, uh, nah, not that fu I'm not fussed. This doesn't s feel too dramatic. I mean, it feels like I'm in a war zone, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't feel that dramatic. Though, to be fair, it could just be because these guys are half competent and aren't all getting themselves murdered. And for some reason, I am fighting a bunch of recruits. Not actual soldiers, but recruits. That might change as we get into the city, maybe? But... No idea. Do I have to go around? Oh, I do. Fuck. I have to walk through more of this? Like three or four guys just shooting at each other. Physical damage received. No. Enemy killed, plus yeah, 3,600 is a lot for one enemy. I'm not sure how the XP sort of like jumps up in this. 
but it seems to jump up pretty high. Yeah, I really am just like not 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 very consequentially or am I? Either that or I'm just way more powerful than I remember being when I stopped playing this. Whoa, that's a sword and a half. Oh, it's a scythe. Okay. It looked like a sword from that angle. Alright, who's this? Ah, oh, Sandra. Wait, so am I even going in the city? Get back here, Sandra. Yeah, well, none of us live here, so what does it matter? And yeah, I didn't do that quest, did I? We had to go and get that guy's poster. Eh, he's probably dead. So, what does it matter? Go and speak with Graham. Alright. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so I can't fast travel? What about now? No! What? I'm not near hostiles, they're all dead. The iconoclast sort of that. So why can't I fast travel? I'm not 100% sure Careful. what that module did. Like it didn't come into play. At all. In this battle. To my knowledge. Because we just sent out, or they sent out like a ton of these guys with heavy weapons and just mowed down all the recruits. So what was the big deal in me giving him that, uh, that thing? That combat module? A question I'm afraid I'll never get the answer to. Sorry, just getting back to someone on my phone. I'm in a very busy moment. <laughs> busy, like, stream here. Every time I'm trying to, like, do something, I mean, hear my phone just go off. Uh, and I'm one of those people that needs to reply ASAP. I 
thought this would be easier. Sanjar's death is surprisingly heavy on my conscience after all this time. But I mustn't let that distract me from our victory. We can now take our truth to the stars, Captain, and I have you to thank for that. Uh, well, you can thank me by saving this colony from the board. And save it we shall. With every step we take forward, the board's time dwindles. Alright, well, what are you going to do now? For the moment, we will recuperate. Collect ourselves and our resources. Know if ever you find yourself in need of a favor, you may call upon your friends in Stellar Bay. Wait, was that it? <laughs> I just I, I just give him the freaking call day and he was like, Yep, you've always got friends here. So it's like, alright, fine. <laughs> I mean, God, I wasn't expecting much. I was expecting some kind of fucking resolution. Alright, never mind. Let's blow this joint. How do I get off this planet again? Where's my ship? All these are good questions. What is the current? Oh my god, this is blowing my mind. What is the current objective? Uh, speak with Phineas. The only way I can do that is from my ship, and I have no idea where the hell my ship is. And the, uh, the this thing cutting out every five minutes is uh, beginning to annoy me. Uh, oh, I can't remember where my ship is. What kind of captain am I? Alright, there's three here. That's gotta be somewhere, right? Oh, no, it doesn't do, do anything. Uh, Terror 1 Publications. Gunship Crash Shade. Well, well that's, that's weird. Um. Yeah, where did I park? Can't believe I'm asking this. Seriously though, what kind of captain forgets where his ship is? But I just remember I moved it somewhere during one of the quests. In fairness to me, it has been over a week since I played this last. Like I got uh, Death Stranding on launch day, so it's, yeah, it's just been a little bit over a week since I played this. Since I picked it up and played it last, so... I thought I was at Fallbrook. Well, no, no, I'm in Heights, aren't I? Right, no, yeah, that's right. Fallbrook has a... Wait. Aha! There we go. Yes! I found my ship. There's nothing really to distinguish it from every other fast travel point on the map you think there would be. But nope. Just a blue dot, like every other blue dot. Crew report. Bioka is drunk. Surprise. Uh-huh. Well, um... Uh, hello, Ada. 
Yeah, it's like, hello to you too. So I have to go... Oh, wait, what? Do I have to go and tra I have to go travel to Phineas' lab in person for a change? I see. That's going to be different. Usually it's just like message him. Now arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab. Yeah, it looks top secret. Especially when it's glowing. Like a big light in the middle of it. Might as well have a big sign pointing. Yeah, right here. Come get me. Uh... No, not Nayoka. Uh, yeah, I'll go with Sam, why not? Medic and robot. Good good combination. experiments and securing myself. Right. Mind the mess. Sir. I haven't had a visitor since... Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. Okay, let's go and see what he wants. You. I'd clap you on the shoulder if I weren't behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it, but Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist. Hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting. Okay, well, just tell me what to do. Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Carmen Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. Anything I should know about this Carmen Imagawa? You can trust her if that's what you're asking. Imagawa is the finest special agent in Byzantium that money can buy. My money, anyway. Actually, there was something else I wanted to chat about. Of course, of course. What's on your mind? There's some reason you're hiding behind bulletproof glass. Oh, it's not you. I uh, do experiments in that room. Some of them get quite scientific. The unexpected is to be treasured, but uh, from a safe distance. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. Okay, well, I'll uh, be back later. Uh, the man's got his toilet paper. Okay, well, I'm going to call it a day here, I think. Uh, seems like a good place to uh, end it on. Um, yeah. If you could leave a like, leave a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button, uh, it would be very much appreciated. For now, though, that's pretty much it. So, until the next episode, you look after yourself.